Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This is an introduction video for AWS SAM. So first of all, uh, let's talk about installation. So I'll talk about Windows. So before installing SAM, uh, you need to have AWS CLI installed in your system. And then what you need to do is you have to install Docker. So try installing Docker for Windows if you are using Windows operating system or uh, if, it, if it is not possible try to update uh, windows and then go ahead and try installing docker toolbox so whatever works for you uh, anything should be there at least uh, to run the containers so once you have the docker installed so next step is to uh, install uh, sam cli so for that you have to use uh, this command pip install aws sam cli uh, one more thing you need to have python installed in your system to run this command so make sure you have it okay once it is installed just go for this command sam hyphen hyphen version so once you have configured everything uh, let's come back to the application so here uh, the first step is to uh, create a serverless application Yeah, so there's a command sam in it. Uh, this is a command line tool uh, to create a serverless, uh, serverless application. You have uh, two options either to uh, use the template or you can create your own template. So yeah, first of all, uh, it will download the template and then create the application. So once you have the application ready, uh, then you need to do a build okay so uh, even uh, before that you can check the readme file once you have the application set up let's go for the readme file it has all the details what are the next step and uh, how you need to run it so here there are options to deploy so before that, let's talk about SAM. Uh, what it does, it, it SAM stands for Serverless Application Model. So if you are uh, in the serverless uh, framework, so you have uh, Lambda as your backend, and maybe DynamoDB or DocumentDB. Uh, you have API Gateway as a front end. Uh, sorry, for, as a endpoint. So you can uh, use SAM uh, to create an application at all. Uh, so you see you can uh, use SAM to uh, create the application. Uh, SAM is uh, like you can deploy it in AWS or even you can test it in local. So you have uh, both the options. So generally what developers do is uh, instead of like getting charged for calling a lambda function they uh, will test it in local so sam gives you an option to do that and it will create api gateway in your local uh, you can call a lambda from the api gateway and from lambda you can call dynamodb if you have dynamodb in your local so for now I don't have and in this uh, application uh, this is a node.js base so we'll go to the app.js so here uh, in this lambda function we are not uh, doing anything except for uh, returning hello world so this is what the lambda will do so this is just an introduction so to get familiarized with the steps on how to create it so as of now what we have done is we have created an application using sam in it and then we have built it using sam build you can use hyphen hyphen guided it will show you an option so yeah if uh, directly you can use sam build itself so it will build the artifact and make sure it uh, it makes sure you don't have any error and it will generate uh, .aws sam file okay so you can see the result of the build 
uh, you can run it wherever you have uh, the template.yml file so at that point at uh, that path you can invoke this uh, command so now it, this is uh, so you have uh, built the application now you want to uh, test it locally so for that uh, we need to have docker running so if you invoke the command uh, sam local invoke you will get this message uh, error message as running aws sam projects locally requires docker so if you don't have docker uh, you install it and then start it so once you start uh, the docker and make sure you are executing this uh, in the shared path so docker doesn't have access to all the files and folders so it has access to only shared path in my case it is c colon users so make sure you are in the shared path anywhere in the subdirectory it's fine so that's about rocker so uh, now at this point i have in the uh, start the docker container you can see the container is running so once the docker container is up and running you don't have to manage it uh, sam manages internally you just have to call the command sam local invoke so this will uh, uh, read your template dot uh, yml file okay and it starts uh, invoking uh, the lambda function or whatever is specified in the template dot xml sorry template dot yml so yeah the build looks fine and it is going to create a container image So when you go to the Docker and check, you will have an image created, and uh, from there it tries to execute it. So you can see uh, the response also. So this is just calling the Lambda function. So let's say you want to see the functionality of API Gateway also in your local. So there is another command for that: sam uh, local start API. see here so this command actually starts uh, the local api and it mocks the api gateway endpoints so yeah and uh, the benefit of this is you can change your sam uh, change your lambda function and uh, need not to restart uh, the api gateway so whenever you uh, invoke the api gateway from the front end like here so this api gateway as you can see in the template uh, it is configured Let's go to the template so uh, this is configured to call this lambda function app dot handler so as of now it shows the blank page okay so this site can't be reached we can uh, you can see i have closed it so i need to start it again so looking at this template we can know uh, this is the path and the lambda function map to this path is this one so let's see yeah the api gateway is now uh, running and you have the url hello so here i am just going to call the api gateway so it is in internally going to invoke the lambda function which is specified here 
and this will call the app.js file and it will return the message hello world so let's see what's the response okay so as you can see we are getting the message hello world so everything looks fine and uh, the next thing is to uh, deploy whatever uh, lambda and api gateway we have created to aws so for that you need to first configure aws cli uh, put in your credentials and then uh, you need to deploy with this command uh, sam deploy so here this is the command so when you start the deployment it will ask you for the stack name so sam app is the stack which is uh, created when you uh, do sam in it so region by default is us east one if you want to change it you have to type it here okay uh, there are some options uh, so you can say yes or no for that okay there is a s3 bucket that is going to be created a differently for this is a url and once everything is configured uh, you can see it is trying to update it finally it will ask you for a confirmation deploy this change set so you say yes and uh, it's deployed so you can see what is the output of this so the stack is updated and let's go back to our console and check it out so we are here make sure you are in the correct region so this is our application sam app you have different uh, ide for uh, starting with the lambda function so let's see what what's the layer it shows you the develop uh, deployment history also and the sam template which uh, you have created it gets transferred here when you do the deployment you can check it out in the cloud formation stack also monitoring is like uh, the time when you execute it and what is the status everything is captured here so as of now this is not executed uh, let's check it out uh, the cloud formation stack so there are the resources okay so we have one hello world function this is a lambda function this is the lambda permission okay so this is a lambda role hello world role this is api gateway i'm not sure what this deployment is yeah th these are the stages for the api gateway like AD api gateway can have uh, multiple stage uh, for different purpose uh, basically both the stage will have same code now okay so let's see uh, the converged converted uh, template so this is a cloud formation template and uh, where was the SAM template so okay I am not able to see that Yeah, so here itself you have an option to uh, delete the stack yeah here is the option to delete the stack so once you're done if you are using a free tier account uh, you can keep this stack uh, 
but uh, if you execute it it will there, there will be charges for you so you can delete it also yeah let's go to uh, api gateway So we we should have one API uh, created. So there is this is the one Sam API with the endpoint hello. Yeah, this is the one. So in the application we did not have any uh, authorization or any mapping for it. So you can add the authorization if required, or uh, you can add a mapping for it. Right, right. You you can do that. So that's it, guys. Uh, this is how you use the SAM uh, to create an application, test it locally, and uh, deploy it in AWS. So let me know if you have any doubts in the comment section. Thanks for watching.